have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. And that's how we'll resolve having two Elizabeths in this timeline. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Death flags. Oh no! She's toast! She's already dead, chat! That girl walking. Jeez. I know seeing Rost again, even as a even just as a hologram. So this Hephaestus, he's like uh, Gaia's own personal Hey, I thought I'd check in before leaving for Gemini. Are you sure we shouldn't be uh, checking up on you? Whatever went on between you and Beta sounded intense. Not that I'm judging. Forge knows all the screws flew loose every time Ursa and I fought. I think we'll be fine from now so on. So that's where your screws went, Aaron. It makes a lot of sense now, yeah? Mm -hmm. After we get Hephaestus, we'll be taking the fight to the Zeniths. So, no more reading. Ah, it wasn't that bad. Not really. Besides, uh, going through all that data helped me realize something. You know, the soldiers, the, the ones that fought the Pharaoh machines so Gaia could be built? Oh, they were fighting a battle that couldn't be won. Not with all the weapons in the world. I think most of them realized that, whether anyone said it or not. They still did it, though. They bought time for all the eggheads working to save the future. Our future. As long as I can do that for you, I'll consider myself a success. Thank you, Erend. I'm... Glad you're with me. Okay, enough. I'm gonna get emotional. Why is everybody talking like they're gonna die? Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zo can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. And I'm not putting Varl anywhere near that stuff after that victory party in Meridian. <laughs> and what about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a good chat, I think. All right, let's see if we can beat this guy real quick. You've got strike set up. Mind if I have a go at it? Really? Uh, sure. Uh, let's do it. In before he's like a savant, absolutely trashing us. Oh, there's no rewards. We can just get the money. Okay, fine. Let's let's just beat him once for you know good measure. How about we... I don't know. Shell Snapper? I don't know. What do we... What, what do we want to do? Elemental Claw Strider. Burn. Attacking machine forest terrain will turn the terrain into grassland. Something with lots of damage potential? Fire Claw. Bam. Can we get some gunner types then? Okay, what do we have? Scrapper has three attack? And really cheap. Behemoth. Very slow. Mm -hmm. Well, not really. Sure. 
Let's play. No scrapper, okay. Let's see what you got. Your pieces have a lot of health, dude. A claw strider. How is that only three victory points? Snap mall. Three, huh? Okay. So both of those water tiles in front of our noses are uneasy. But we should be able to get up there, right? Yeah. My turn. All yours. Oh, he's going for a concave. It's a glint talk. Wow, is that really? I, I can't reach them. <laughs> Oops. That's unfortunate. Uh. to make a move. Wow, that does three damage. Your turn. Can, can, can we smack them now? Sprint, huh? So... I mean, that's, that's not great. That, that kills us. That does one damage to us and kills us. How that unless we move our Ravager friend first. Is this tile threatened? It is by the snap mall. I mean, that's an attack. I'll take it. Okay, let's... That one's a gun. Okay. Let's see. I'm done. Okay. Oof. 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 We can pick which one of these we want to kill with, with that guy and an overdrive. We can overdrive twice here, which is not going to kill the dude. We can overdrive from here. Which would kill this guy. Gets us two points. Puts us at four. This is three. If we kill that, it's going to put us at seven. But we won't be able to attack both. I'm we'll able to do that, though. That's not super helpful. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to start here. Bonk. And overcharge. What if I overcharge and do that? Then we do this one first. We can hold on with the overcharge. We can we can get this bonk. There it goes. And this should now allow us to overcharge that for three, puts it at four. 
You keep hitting those armored spots, I might have a shot of winning. Well, it could have gone better, but uh, congrats on your win, though. Oh, I, I feel bad for We're beating him, playing. but... <laughs> okay, at least we we done it once. I should go. That's yeah, same here. I got a date with a cauldron to prepare for. Are you gonna bring it flowers? Ooh, surprise quest. Okay. Aloy. Everything okay with you and Beta? It sounded like you guys had a, uh, lively conversation. We just had a lot to talk about. Does this mean she's coming with us to Gemini? It does. I hope you're ready to rein in the most stubborn AI of all time. That's what all this was for, wasn't it? Hephaestus won't go down quietly. Hephaestus is just a program that's lost its way. We are fighting for our survival. I can always call upon the goddess if you're nervous. Funny. <laughs> you were right, you know. About keeping Rost's memories buried. I guess part of me thought he was holding me back. Because he wanted me to be a Nora. But the truth is, he gave me a lot. And I took him for granted. He was a good man. He raised you well. I hope firing off those pulse generators will be enough to distract the Zeniths. It'll work. It has to. Always optimistic, huh? Nah, just stubborn. It's a good quality to have when dealing <laughs> with you. Yeah, right. Zing, yikes. You got some ointment for that burn? Wow, that stung. Any last findings you want to share before leaving? Not really. Though I've reached a decision. Oh? When we put Gaia together, I want to return to the Nora, spread what I've learned. You think they'll listen to you? In time, I believe so. If anyone can make it happen, it's you, Vol. What will you and Zoe do if you go back to the Embrace? I hope she'll come with me, at least for a while. And I'll go with her to Plainsong, too. She'll probably want to talk to her people about all this, as well. We'll figure it out. I know you will. How does everyone seem to you? Anxious, but ready. I heard Catalo ask for Alva's help with his pulse generator. And I know he's been helping her with a few fighting techniques, just in case. I hope they aren't needed. Like I said, just in case. I'm glad you're coming with me, Val. Sure there's no urge to run off alone in there somewhere? No more running. Dude, I'm... I'm my dudes, I, I'm getting, like, final battle vibes here. I'm getting final battle vibes. Hey, we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. You good with the plan? I've already got the location of my assigned cauldron. Good. I heard you and Beta had a talk news travels fast it wasn't exactly a quiet conversation there were just things that needed to be said a healthy crop to those who clear the weeds between them as the utaru say that's a good saying i like that you look like you have something on your mind we're going to war soon and war is something i promised myself i'd left behind in the red raids but the more of your data i go through Every voice I hear, every word I read from our ancient past, it makes me realize just how much life was given so that ours could flourish. Fighting for that gift, it's our responsibility. If we fail, it was all for naught. Helps to know you're not alone. For a moment there, you sounded like Varl. I don't know what you're talking about. I should go. As soon as you intend to leave for Gemini, you'll hear about it. In before we sneak off alone. Okay, let's talk to Alva and then Kotalo. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I was just studying the pulse generator schematics. 
the ones Gaia and Beta built? <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable. Is everything all right? It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. Oh my goodness. Have you spoken with Zoe at all? A little bit, but uh, I did hear her singing with Varl not too long ago. I don't think they noticed. So seemed so uh, free when she did it. Like every emotion she had was taking flight in song. And she looked happier because of it. Uh, I felt so dull and nervous in comparison. You should ask so to teach you sometime. About Utaru music. Maybe. If you need anything before heading out to the cauldrons. You have nothing to worry about. Gaia's explained your plan in detail. As expected from such an efficient AI. I've even received some very... Um, uh, succinct combat advice from Kotalo. You know, uh, in case the Zeniths show up. What kind of advice? He, um, told me to run. For now. We'll even the odds soon enough. Singing or singing. Get out of here, Kermi. <laughs> Get your mind out of that gum gutter. Any more data catch your eye? All of it? I have so much to study up on. Years, actually. I'm particularly interested in the Odyssey. We knew the ancestors had made it to the moon. In fact, we theorized some of them had settled on it. But Sirius is way farther than that. And we thought journeying across the ocean would be the feat of a lifetime. The sheer calculations needed for space travel. It's overwhelming to think about. Even so... The Quen are way ahead of other tribes when it comes to understanding this stuff. Where I grew up, everyone thought that stars were sparks that rose from a fire lit by the goddess to guide us through the night. Must be strange to think that some of the ancestors your tribe reveres are still alive. And here on Earth, right now. Yeah, it is. Part of me is curious to know who else besides Eric Visser might be among them. Maybe Nikita Arand? We call her the Spark. The legacy tells us she brought unlimited energy to the Old Ones. Or Song Zhao, whom we call the Healer. It is said she found new ways to extend the ancestors' lifespans. But my curiosity fades when I think of how different our view of Visser was compared to the reality that you experienced. Perhaps it is better not to know. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So, where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is... Well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. Uh -huh. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. 
I should go. Make sure you talk to Gaia if you have any questions about the pulse generators. May your path lead to truth. And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Okay, so here's here's what I'm thinking, chat. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, we... I feel like we're heading towards the final battle. And I have a feeling that it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be long. It's gonna be uncut. And it's definitely gonna be one of those first try affairs. And I feel like if we start it now, we probably won't finish today. So let's do Alva's quest. Consider it main story. Aloy, are you well? Had a bit of an issue with Beta. It's better now, though. Ah, uh, I'm not surprised. Really? Why not? I once knew a warrior who discovered he had a brother late in life. It was deeply uncomfortable for him. Did he ever get over it? In time. But not before the two siblings nearly killed each other in a single combat challenge. Ah. Well, at least I avoided that. Let's be clear, if we ended up in a single combat challenge with Beta... Yeah, that that would not end well, I don't think. Mm -mm. You nervous about the mission ahead? If I live, it will be in victory. If I die, it will be in battle. What matters most is that you achieve your objective. I'll do my best. Think you're ready to put all your training to the test? I am Tanakh. I am always ready. I should go get ready. I await your orders. Have we spoken to everybody now? Except Beta, but we, we had that chat with her. I don't I'm not sure if we actually need to talk to her again. So talk to Gaia to launch the mission to Gemini. Level 30. That doesn't feel right. We're max level. Surely there must be more after that. Still, it feels like a long mission. Whoops. Yeah, so I don't want to end up in a sitch where we have to abort that mid, mid mission. So let's go do uh Lala Alva's uh thing. Call Alva. The living ancestor, you could you spare a moment, please? <laughs> ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've I mean, run my request through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The overseer has denied my request for a search party. And defying him would mean dismissal. Or worse. You think they might be alive? Horace has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank any you. weapon in your stock? If it helps, okay. my brother carried an ancestral hmm. relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read? It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is gone, could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I, I'd like to keep it safe for him. 
Of course. I promise you, we'll find a way home. Harriam, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here, for good. The ancestor reborn. <sighs> May we be led to truth. Just, Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships. They're all gone, destroyed by storms and reefs, and with them, the one instrument we need to guide us across the ocean. There is one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christia. You mentioned you left someone behind? My uh, wife, Neandra. She works the field in the Great Delta. When I was chosen for this mission, she begged me not to come. She was scared I wouldn't return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I will never see her again. Love the hair. So you two are soldiers? Navigators, actually. I'm Harriam, and this is Christia. So, you two know how to use this instrument? The gyro compass. Only I know how to read it. The diviners trained me. Harriam was chosen to memorize the charts found in the legacy. So you can't navigate the fleet without each other? It is the Quen way. The greater the knowledge held by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire, should we be captured by our enemies. Your tribe sure is... cautious. So what is this gyro compass you're looking for? It's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location. But it only works if the readings are compared to a chart. How'd you get your hands on something like that? I guess it's safe to tell you since you carry the gift of the ancestors. The diviners found them on ancient vessels back in our homeland and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. You said what you need is on a ship somewhere. Yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall, a sudden squall hit the fleet. While some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly currents. Maybe I can help. Not unless you can fly. I can't do that. But if I find a way, I'll come back. She's an ancestor reborn. Maybe she really can help. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. Okay. I don't think I can get to that ship. At least, not now. At least not me. Any, any more than quests? Hey, Alva. I'm in landfall. Can you meet me here? I'll be there as soon as I can. Aloy, I'm here. I had to sneak past a few machines on the way, but I made it. All right. Ready to talk to that diviner? Yes. He's right over there. Diviner Alva, what are you doing back in landfall?